it's Blu-ray collection update time. This is essentially going to be the last Blu-ray collection update. Um, and this is all my IndyCan Blu-rays from 2015. Now, IndyCan, as you may expect from the name, is a distributor, a uh, Canadian distributor um, that does a lot of indie films, a lot of documentaries, actually. Um, so it'd be no surprise that the first IndyCan Blu-ray I'm going to talk about is a documentary, and that is Skull World. Yes, it is the same Skull World as was shown in my Raven Banner um, Blu-ray update, but it is a IndyCan Raven Banner conglomeration release. Um, check out uh, that video if you want to know about it. As you can see, it is signed by Skullman and Justin McConnell, a uh, buddy of mine. So, um, yeah, go check that out if you want to know about Skull World at all. Uh, next up, also from another video, this is from my Anchor Bay uh, update video, but this is an IndyCan Anchor Bay combo release, and that is Grave Encounters 2. Um, some of you may, uh, who have seen this, may recognize a few fellow YouTubers from it, but uh, yeah, check that out. Next up is a film a lot of people would not know about, uh, and this is sort of a a weird, a very, very weird film. Uh, not everybody's cup of tea, and that's Junkie. Junkie. Um, some good performances in that one. And then finally, last but not least, my favorite indie can release, and a film I highly recommend um, everybody check out. This is my man, Don Thacker's motivational growth um, yeah Don Thacker is one of those guys he's he's just he is go 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 um, a bundle of energy um, makes video games ended up making a movie used video games uh, in his movie and such um, but honestly motivational growth uh, it's it's one of those bizarre films that's just so cool at the same time um, and Jeffrey Combs uh, essentially is the voice of the mold yes the mold knows Jack the mold knows um, and it is it is absolutely um, original interesting very entertaining and highly recommended unfortunately I do believe this particular blu-ray is out of print um, the DVD I believe is still available in Canada this is the Canadian release um, like I said from IndyCan I think you may still be able to get motivational growth from the American uh, blu-ray release um, otherwise you may have to track it down overseas um, but I do recommend you do track it down at the very least on DVD, but yeah, if you can get your hands on a Blu-ray, it's definitely worth it. And unfortunately, that marks the end of my IndyCan um, Blu-ray collection update, and thus my Blu-ray collection updates for 2015 in general. Only four, but it's got one absolutely fantastic one. Thanks for watching. Until next video, take care. Have a good one.